Uh, in my part of this presentation, I'm going to show some uh, what I hope are vivid examples of how CAPTA's library prep and amplification technologies uh, really enhance the performance of NimbleGen sequence capture, uh, particularly when you're working with high and low GC capture targets, uh, low sample availability, and uh, DNA from FFPE tissue. So again, this is a diagram of the sequence capture workflow. Just to point out again that a sequencing library prepared with Kappa reagents is the primary input into the NimbleGen solution capture reaction. And again, here are the three application categories I'll discuss uh, today, beginning with uh, capture of targets with high and low GC content. So Marika has already shown some data, uh, including data generated by investigators at Memorial Sloan Kettering, where it's very clear that libraries amplified with the Kappa Hi-Fi polymerase and captured with the CCAP Easy probes result in a more uniform representation of target sequence across a wide range of GC content, uh, particularly when compared to libraries amplified using the fusion polymerase. So I'll show you additional data to support that. The experiment uh, I'm going to show you here uh, consisted of sequence capture using NimbleGen Easy Exome version 3 probes. Uh, that targets 64 megabases of annotated exome content. Uh, two replicate experiments were performed using libraries constructed and amplified using the previously recommended workflow, uh, which was the TrueSeq Library Preparation Kit with the fusion polymerase for amplification. Two replicates were performed using libraries constructed and amplified using the new workflow, uh, the Kappa Library Prep Kit and the Hi-Fi Polymerase. The input DNA in each case was a HapMap cell line DNA. Uh, the captured products were sequenced with 2 by 100 HiSeq reads and mapped using a, a pipeline that we use internally, which incorporates uh, version 2.18 of SOAP aligner. So coverage over the capture targets was measured according to the percent GC content of the individual captured targets. So here are the data from the two captures using the previously recommended workflow. The targets were grouped into bins according to their percent GC content. And those bins are arranged left to right on the x-axis with high GC content targets on the right side of the graph. The mean coverage depth over targets in each bin is shown on the y-axis. The inset, inset at the top right of this graph is just a zoom of the highest GC bins, so you can see that more, more clearly. So I think it's widely appreciated that targets with very low or very high GC content are not well represented in the data from any type of targeted enrichment workflow, and indeed most sequencing workflows that include a polymerase amplification step. And that's indeed what we see here. Uh, what isn't very well understood uh, yet is how much of this effect is primarily due to library construction, library amplification, probe hybridization reactions, downstream sequencing, or some combination of these sub-processes. So here are the data from the new workflow overlaid on top of the data from the previous workflow. What is apparent is that the data from the CAPA workflow demonstrate a much greater uniformity with higher coverage over both low and high GC content targets. So this effect is easier to see over the lower GC content targets, the green arrow, as these are more highly represented in the exome. But the insert at the top right shows that the effect is also present with the higher GC content targets. This increased coverage of the low and high GC content targets is, in effect, borrowed from the middle GC content targets, uh, shown by the red arrow. But that's a good thing, as the coverage here is generally more than sufficient to call SNPs accurately. But there's a lot of space in the difference between these two curves, or distributions, uh, particularly at the extremes of GC content, where important variants might be hiding. Uh, these variants are now accessible when you combine the Kappa Library Prep and Amplification Reagents with the NimbleGen Sequence Capture technology.